Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Exclusive here. I'm here with Planet Weber Magazine. We're here with Ryan D. Perry. He's on the Black Tour right now. He's Gary Gary and Gary Gill 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 and I'm reading Platinum Urban Magazine. This side, not this one. <laughs> so what's up, man? You all right, man? Man, thank you for coming through, man. Hey, man. Glad to hey, you. I got me. I'm doing it. I'm just Platinum Urban, man. Hey, man you know how yeah. you do it, man. Yeah. You know how you do it, man. So, uh, so how's uh, Dallas Fort Worth uh, treating you, man, since you've been here, man? How you well, like well you know, I always love to come to Dallas, man. It's one of those. It's one of the cities that you know. It's, it always feel like family. Plus, my my sister lives here. Oh, okay. So I might pop, I sneak in and out of town all the time right, anyway. Right, right. So, um, you know, I, I play the Black Academy Arts and Letters sometimes. I play the Improvs, both Arlington and Addison. So, you know, Dallas is just one of those good cities, man. It's got good folks. And then my family is from Monroe, Louisiana. Okay. So it's like a whole Monroe contingent, right, right, right. you know, in Dallas. So, you know, I, I get a lot of times get to see my classmates when I come in. So it's always fun. All right, cool. Yeah. Up, man? So. Yeah. So man, um, what are some of the comedians that inspired you coming up? What, what are some of the ones that had a big influence on you getting into the game? You know, it, it, it's it's a few names that fall in that category for me. Um, of course, you know, I remember being a kid and my, my parents would have parties and my room was right off the living room so I would lay on the floor and listen to them listen to Richard Pryor records. Right, right. So, it was just amazing to me that, that somebody could captivate a room and they wasn't even there. Right. Yeah. You know, which was right. amazing. And then I saw Eddie Murphy on Saturday Night Live and that changed my life. I was like, that's it. Yeah, a lot of that's people what I am. Right. Right. You know, so Eddie Murphy for me gave a face that I identified with. He was dark skinned, he was African American, he was funny, he was cussing. <laughs> I was like, that's me. Right. So even as a kid, I, I knew that, man. I mean, I had a teacher in second grade that would let me tell jokes at the end of the day if I would shut up throughout the course of the day. <laughs> so um, it was, uh, it, yeah, those, those were definitely two. And then later on, said the entertainer, that was my mentor. He took me under his wing. He showed myself a uh, little Duval, who's real hot right now. He showed a, a few of us what it was like to be a star. You know, when I toured with Cedric, you know, they picked us up in limousines, they took us to the best hotels, you know, and you got to really see how to treat people. Cedric was always amazing at treating people good. Right. But, uh, you know, I got a pretty good pedigree when it comes to comics because I've had some, the, the opportunity to learn from some great people, man. Right. That's yeah. Right. That's yeah. That's hey, I'm Rodney Perry, and I'm reading Platinum Urban Magazine. This side, not this one. <laughs> Okay, okay, cool, man. So, mm -hmm. so hot. So, how's the Black Tour going for you? Well, well, let me tell you what the Black Tour is, man. When I when I came up with this name, I really kind of didn't know. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, I knew I didn't know if I was just gonna wear black. Right. I didn't know if I was gonna, uh, you know, it was gonna have some 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 African American significance. I didn't know what it was. Right. And so, I'm on the road, Richmond, Virginia, I'm doing a show, and they took me to this place called a Hippodrome. Yeah. Now, the Hippodrome. In the in the 40s and 50s, it was a place where black acts could only perform. You know, it's a lot of little theaters around this country that we couldn't play the uh, the Fox theaters and stuff right. like that. So we had to play these little small venues, and this was one of them. And it, it just a light bulb came on. I said, that's what the black tour is. It's black history. Right. And so what I do in each city, I go and find little nuggets of black history. You know, and 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 I'm, I'm in you know collecting videos. So it's kind of a docu series. Right. Uh, and that's what the Black Tour is. So in, in Richmond, Virginia, it was the Hippodrome. In Cleveland, Ohio, it was the first black-owned McDonald's franchise. Right. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Some meaning behind it. Yeah, right. some meaning behind it. So that's what it kind of became. And um, uh, they're gonna. My sister's taking me out. You know, tomorrow, mm -hmm. and we're gonna talk about. She's gonna take me to something in there. She won't tell me what it is, right. but there is some black history in Dallas that people don't. Everybody don't know about. Okay. And so that's the type of stuff that, that we want to cover. So, um, the, and then it's funny. We just right. we just knock down funny. I mean, my I get to travel with my brothers Ryan Evans, okay. who is uh you know same mama, different daddy, same house. <laughs> you know, like, right. you know, well, you know that's uh, my younger brother gets to travel with me. He's smashing the stage. Okay. And you. You know, what you'll find with comics is comics don't like 
the guy to open for them to be uh, real funny. Right. You know, they're like, yeah, I, uh, yeah. I like for my, my opening act to smash. Right. Because then that let me get a true gauge of the room and what people are what, ready to do. Right. Okay. And then we come on after that and I, and I try to beat them to death. Right, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. yeah. Like that. Right, so, um, what are some the comedians today nowadays? You know, a lot of people, a lot of people got a lot of opinions about them. Mm -hmm. What which one of the one which one of the one? What do you think about the comedians that's now up and coming nowadays? Well, you know, I, I remember being, you know, what I call Rudy Poo. You know, I remember being a Rudy Poo and and you know wanting, you know, the the, the senior class to talk talk to me and right. you know and have those conversations and and they weren't always making themselves available. So I make myself available okay. to the uh, up and coming comics. I like them. You know, I like I like the you know cats here. Like um, tonight, I'm putting a young cat on the show that's here. His name is Celebrity. Okay. He's from town, man. I met him on the Tom Joyner cruise, mm -hmm. and he was funny to me, mm -hmm. and uh, so I, I like that. But the the comic today has a different uh, it's a different animal than it was when I was coming up because you got social media. You got Twitter, you got Facebook, you got YouTube, you got Vine. Everything is fast. Everything is fast, and you can you got a you, you got unprecedented access to your fans. Right. Yeah, sure. And so, it's a lot of comics that create an internet presence before they develop as a comic. Right. right. So I would say to the comics out there, make your internet presence, make yourself known, but don't let that supersede you as a comic. Right. True. Because if you blow up on the internet, guess what? We coming to see you, dog. Right, right. And you better be good. Right. You gotta put your show so, up. so that's the thing, man. And so, uh, but I'm a fan, man. I like, I like some of the internet sensations. This guy, King Batch, y'all gotta check him out, man. He's, he's ridiculously, really? his videos is like little movies. Right, right. You know, I think he's amazing, man. And um, he's just, he's one of them. It's these cats on Vine, man. They got. 10, 15,000 followers, 30,000 followers, and you ain't never heard of them. That's crazy. But they put up videos every day, so it really becomes a production. You, right. You're shooting a little mini TV show Basically, every right. day. Right. So uh, I, I like the new comics, man, and, you know, I make myself open to them. You know, they hit me up on Twitter or Facebook or anywhere, and, if, if you know, if I got time, I sit down, I talk to them. Yeah, give them some advice. But, but this is what I tell them. Don't ask me no deep question on Twitter. I ain't got but 140 characters. Hey, Rodney, what's the meaning of comedy? Man, uh, don't quit. Man. Right. <laughs> you know, and that's really my advice for most comics. Don't quit. I see you at the top. Sure, sweet. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. All right, so everybody know Michael Shine is uh, performing tonight. He hosts yeah. tonight. Yeah, man. So, you know, from K104. So, you know, what's your take on him, man? <laughs> man, I love the guy, man. My, my only problem with Mike Shine, he likes me. You know, I don't really... <laughs> Mess with light skinned dudes <laughs> like that. Right. No, I'm joking, man. Just a good cat, man. We go, act, we actually go back, man. Our community as com comics is really small. Mm -hmm. We did a show together in New Jersey a few years back because you know Mike is new to the area because he's from New Jersey, New York area. Okay. So, uh, man, we did a show probably last year, maybe the year before, mm -hmm. and I, I thought he was funny then, and we kind of connected. So when I walked in the K104 studio to Didi's show and he was on the show, I was like, Yo, what's up, my yeah. man? And they was like. You know, you know Mike on the show. I was like, man, I was excited because he's just one of those fun dudes. Right. And you know, when, when, when Ryan and I travel around the country, sometimes the host is a crapshoot. You don't right. know what yeah. it's going to be. Right. And when you when you walk into a situation and you know it's a Mike Sean, you know it's, you got you in good, good hands. Right. You're in good hands. And, and uh, he he been he been he been doing this joke about the, uh, what's what's the big text? Okay, yeah, big text. That's killing. It's crazy, man. So yeah, it's, it's been off the chain. That's what's up, man. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. All right, man. So what's what's next for you, man? The fans want to know what what can we expect from you yeah. next? What's the next big thing? Well, you know, people always say, "Hey, you was on Monique. Where you been?" I'm, right. like, I'm telling jokes. I got six kids, a wife, and two baby mamas. I ain't, I ain't been standing still, man. I got a show on Bounce TV, which just come to the area. Brand new African American network. We number two in black households. We in all the urban areas: Chicago, New York. D.C., uh, St. Louis, L.A., so the network is growing. I got a comedy show over there called Off the Chain. That, that'll, that'll start running in um, November, late November, December. Um, that's coming. Uh, I'm, I'm currently developing a game show. So, really? yeah, I, I'm, I'm putting on my, my producer hat, and I'll be hosting it as well, a game show called Makeup or Breakup. Uh -huh. You know, for any of y'all couples out there on the rocks, 
I'm your man. You understand? And uh, that's coming down the pipe. And, you know, we just keep working. Uh, I read a book one time that said you should have seven streams of income. Yeah. So I'm trying to get it. Yeah, you know, I got I do a radio show uh, once a week that I've been doing for the past four years. Uh, I do a live show in Atlanta um, called First Wednesdays. Um, so man, you we, got your hands. Man, I'm Every trying to, day, I'm trying to get. I got like I said, I got six Every kids. Day. I got yeah. you know my wife want to you know do nasty every once in a while. I'm busy. <laughs> <You got laughs> I'm busy, man. You got so me. yeah, we, we getting it in, man. And uh, you know I'm a firm believer in hard work. You know, you know social media. I'm at Rodney Perry on Twitter, Rodney Perry Live on Instagram. That's because some little kid out there took Rodney Perry and he don't even use his page. Hey, little boy. <laughs> Release my name so I can be Rodney Perry on Instagram, and uh, you know we just we just grind it, man. I I love it though. You know I love it. Uh, they they say if you can find something you love to do, you never work a day in your life, and I have yet to work a day in my life. Yeah. Cool, cool. So y'all know that he's actually working. So you don't have to ask no more questions. You got it here first. He's working. He's putting in work. So expect big things. Don't make me put my hands on you. Okay. I do it. <laughs> You ain't got my side belly with that camera, do you? <laughs> that's, that's the, yeah, I, don't know, I don't know how I let y'all get me at this angle. I, this is, I need to be front on. All right. I, ain't, I ain't no side cute. I'm, I'm front on cute. You ain't gonna get my side back. Because it's just one chick. You ever, you never seen the chick? Hey, ladies out there, you, you, they be missing that tooth? That's when you know she over about 35. <laughs> that, little that, little, that tooth be missing. Like, okay, hey, Pam, how you doing? <laughs> Exactly, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, man. So, y'all make sure y'all just had a, a great, crazy interview with Ronnie Perry, man. You already know what it is. Make sure y'all check out www.pumagazine.com for more for more updates on the website. And uh, we're going to go check this show out, man. See what it do. Oh, yeah. Who is this girl? Good Lord. That's what y'all doing? <laughs> okay. All day, man. You know right. I'm talking to you later. I'm just going in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Perry, and I'm reading Platinum Urban Magazine. This side, not this one. <laughs>